All right, what else we have? We have the CIP, which we already know is going to be 1749, wasn't it? Conservation Land Trust Capital Reserve Fund. Uh, $10,000 will be transferred from the land and use change tax fund to fund this appropriation. So, so just a note about that, if there are no land use change tax tra uh, qualifying transactions, then you have no income in land use change tax category to transfer over. Right. And so it doesn't happen. So, it doesn't happen. so what is, I, I know what the money is used for, it's just like, but how often do they use it? I mean, there's 135000 in there. So, I mean, it's, do they have a, they don't have a project or anything that they're... There hasn't been, well, there's no, I don't think there's a they. I, you could consult with the Conservation Commission, but it would be... This is, oh, this is not their money. This is, this is no, the no, town no, no, money. This is town money if the town wants to buy, to buy land. land. Oh, it's to buy If a property comes up for sale and it's really important to the town to conserve it and not allow it to be developed, you can buy That's it. That's what this is for. Right. So, so there's no regular reoccurring transaction, but it also can be wiped out in the place. When, um, when it was proposed, we had a special town meeting to uh, purchase the uh, land that's now Scouts Landing. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the part of the funding was going to come from, from this. Um, and when we were going to um, purchase some other uh, land in town, it was going to come from this. It was, the, it was land the land on Silver here. Street. Yeah. So, um, no, the one on off of Foundry too, where next to the uh, it's all wetlands, but we bought that right the many moons ago. Yes, but that was one too, I believe. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. So this goes back towards well, on the other side of South, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah back, right. back, back, back behind the, the, um, mm -hmm. the wastewater treatment mm -hmm. line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I mean, it, it, there are practical applications, and again, it only gets funded if if there's uh, money available from the land use change tax. So. so we're okay if nothing goes in and we don't have anything from that other fund. It doesn't go in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is there an objection to doing the 10000 for that then? No. no. I mean, it's just a savings account if mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity arises. Th these are restricted accounts? Yes. Everything is restricted in one way or another in these articles for these accounts, yes. Okay. And this is all of what the trustees have, I believe so. Okay. Okay. So one of the things um, I'll bring to your attention, which I've drafted, um, I've, I've included in the draft warrant for your consideration, is the five accounts there that have very small balances mm -hmm. mm. to wipe out those accounts and transfer the small balances into the general fund. Yes. If they're to no longer be used. Otherwise we can do it with some and not others, but just some has Or transfer it into um, something else. Like the Sligo Road you could move to I was gonna say I was gonna say CIP, but yeah, whatever. Something like that. So we used to do the town evaluation. Actually, I didn't mean that one. Good question, thank, oh. thank you. But okay. no, we need to fund, um, consider funding that at whatever okay. rate would be appropriate given the new avatar contract. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that amount's going to change. So there's only four of them that are the questionable. It's police cruiser, which now would be funded uh, through right. CIP. Transfer uh, station. Transfer station, which yeah. would be funded by CIP. And uh, What's the difference between Sligo property Road and, and 
town reevaluation. Yeah, we have a company reval and a town reval, and they probably ought to get combined. Right, to make one. one. Right, okay. right. Okay. And then slide out. Okay. What is the Fred Green Trust? Is that for upstairs? I have no idea what that is. Yes. We had a description of it somewhere. Do we see a historical committee meeting one night, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure. Think it was what I'm thinking of. Uh, um, South Street. What was her name? Um, um, Mrs. Um, Take the lady's name. Fred Green. Uh, no, no, no. Mrs. Green. No, Mrs. Green. No. Um, <laughs> Green away, though, wasn't it? Wasn't her name? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. Um, yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Gave That's daughter. Yeah. Gave. Um, that she grew up on. So gave oh, a convoluted story. A, a bunch of her stuff ended up with that sharpened here after she passed away. Her daughter gave it to her. And in there was a whole file on donations from Fred Green and a couple other people. And it was for historical purposes. Why he donated this money. If it's what if the same one is. So I'm not saying we do anything else with it, but there was a whole list of stipulations as to what should be done with the money. So, and right now, I'm not suggesting we do anything with it, but I think that's what it was. So, some of these may have, like obviously, the police cruiser transfer station. These are set up by the town, but Fred L. Green Trust would have been a bequeath by Mr. Green to do certain things. So we wouldn't want to. You have to honor that. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, new equipment. What is? Uh, what is new equipment? That's a great question that I would defer to the trustees. We should ask them if it's got thirty thousand dollars in it. I mean, is it previous before the title of CIP came along? I I, I don't know. If it is, it might make sense to roll into it. That's what mm -hmm. the purpose of the even at that amount of money, is. we should have consider how much one. You should know what one it's fund. for. One fund, yeah. Yes. But anyway, let's not lose track of. Uh, uh, is that the only other trust fund the, question? The bottom one. Yeah, what is that? Like Article 20 on 2017. I, I'm, I have to say I'm, I'm confused oh. about that um, because we have, that's the transfer station, which has a considerable amount of money in it, but should probably get rolled back into the general fund or some other fund because we're done with that project. Mm -hmm. um, unless there's a reason to keep it open and, and people want to have such a thing for the transfer station, but um, it is a duplication of, of the other one, um, the fourth one there, and I don't know if that was a previous earlier one because it's, um, or the other thing is it may just be interest and maybe he's separated it out for a reason it's not actually a different account. Um, I, I don't know, but I, I have, I do have questions too, so. Mm -hmm. Do we have the right to ask him to consolidate them and put them in? The board is the governing agency over the warrant. So you can request whatever you want to request, but really it's up to the board to decide what to put on the warrant. That being said, um, I've had that conversation with him and he supports the idea. They support the idea of housekeeping. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I don't know if they approve of or need to approve of or if the board wants to cons consult with them regarding which accounts get into consolidated into which other accounts. Um, you know, you could do this by, a num you know, in a number of different ways. So it would all have to go through town meeting. Um, to my mind, it's up to the board to decide to suggest something to the people on the ballot. So, Article 20, 2017 was to establish a transportation improvement capital. Oh, transportation, there you go. Not Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, that has $14,000 more going into it. And that was associated with the, um, the vehicle, the $5 yes. vehicle. Uh, Oh, 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 oh. Right. Yeah. And that was that supposed to be used for when that was road, road, road maintenance. Yes. 
So, good job. Thank you, Michael. So that check is in the packet for tonight. So that's not going in. No. I need to stay the way. But no. the other one. So this though, is I mean, last year's plus interest, probably. No, no. This 16s. is. Um, oh, no, 17s. 17, right. That's 17 revenue, and we've got 18 to add to it, which is $14,000. 14, so you've got 21 plus to pay now. To put in there. And that's good. Okay. All right, so the only other. Um, Uh, so that's coming from the capital conservation land trust capital reserve fund for this purpose. Okay, well we don't need to. No, but um, it would be helpful to revisit this after you mm -hmm. evaluate the assessment contracts. Yes, um, that's fine. Because that has a five-year option, which will inform what you would want to put in that article. Okay. So for tonight, the only reserve funds then that we had to worry about were CIP, Culvert, and Conservation Land Trust, right? Right, and then we'll revisit that. Okay, so which I'd like a motion to uh, accept the numbers that we previously discussed. We'll have a formal vote on it so we can uh, have that ready for... Uh, so I'll, 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 make, I'll make a motion to allocate the funds we've discussed and to the Capital Improvement uh, Conservation Land Trust and Culvert Fund. Um, so 179,400, 10,000, and 10,000 respectively. I'll second. Any other discussion? All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Aye. Opposed? All right. Carolyn, you know we have that then. Next is the Avatar contract. So, where's in one of these folders? It's, it's the second piece of paper right there, yellow. So Avatar has decided to raise their yes, and the final their piece, rates again. Yes, is your are your options. So our two options are, as outlined by Avatar, let's just say that, are either having a four-year contract. A grand total of $97,880, or a one year contract for $5,720. We need to take care of this this evening so Caroline can get that over to them and we can figure out exactly what we need to start saving for into the um, evaluation fund, which we actually didn't take up yet. But it's really difficult to take that up until we know what the contracts are going to be. Mm -hmm. So, you had a conversation with with Avatar, correct? About, uh, Not a why they're going up? But you can see from the letter there um, introducing the contract that they're um, explaining the increase um, to um, to recent increase in hours that they've allocated toward Rollinsburg. Um, did they give an accounting or what they were? Uh... They have not. They they do give some indication on their monthly invoices how much time they spend in Rollinsburg. No. Um, what's not? I, I'm not sure that they're using all of their allotted time, and I'm not sure that what's on the invoice really equals what they're doing. Or or is, does it really show an increase over the last several years? Once upon a time. Um, Assessing was handled more in-house. That fell by the wayside. Some data fell through the cracks, and there's there was a makeup period. And and there so we did put a lot on them a couple of years ago, but that would have been reflected in whatever previous contracts were approved. Mm -hmm. The contract we all are in a one-year contract currently um, at an increased rate. So. Um, to my mind, whatever previous bump in hours over the past several years as they're, as they're planning um, would have been reflected in that increase unless there was another substantial bump in hours. So I'm just kind of concerned about that um, and curious about that, but I don't, you know, if the board's fine with the contract, it's not for me to question it. So well, I, I just wanted to express that to you all. I think we should have uh, at least a, um, twice a year um, report from them of how many hours they've put in so we can make those 
decisions correctly. And if they were, if we knew that they were having more hours, if they send us a report every six months, we would know that they are over there allotted I, hours. I asked for that, and yeah. they said they put hours on the monthly invoice. But to my mind, what's noted in the invoices doesn't equal a, a substantial amount of time. Yeah. And also, I had a conversation with our assessor mm -hmm. um, at one point a couple of months ago, and he seemed to think that we could handle the contract differently, whereby he would have a regular once a month standing right. appointment right. at the town office because we have that kind of time to use. Right. Mm -hmm. And never materialized. Well, A, it never materialized, but B, why was he offering that because we have the time, time if we don't, right. have, if we don't right. have the time. Right. 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 That's why I'm So I'm concerned, concerned about this. the increase. We still have to do something, but if they're going to increase us by that much, um, can they give us a discount or throw in online tax cards? Or you know, can they, um, I don't know, is, is there some kind of further justification? Because to my mind, it's just an increase, and frankly, right. we're still receiving poor customer service for that. Why can't we ask them to come in here and have a conversation with the board? That is a great idea. Well, we I mean, face-to-face -face is a lot different than sending a letter out, you know? This is what I would like to see. I'd like to see us do one year with them, and after town meeting, when things <laughs> kind of slow down a little bit, they do slow down a little bit, we have a uh, serious conversation about uh, issuing an RFP uh, for assessing um, services, and we look for, for another, another company. That's what I'd like to see happen. Because I'm, uh, I actually, I like Mr. Robert. I think he's a very nice guy. He's always been very nice and agreeable when he shows up in person, but uh, it takes a long time to uh, chase him down. And we've had, we've had our tax collector send numerous emails asking him to fix things like uh, around uh, current use um, and other issues. The, when there's issues on tax cards that arise, and it takes them quite a while to take care of that. So I'm not really pleased with the, the level of service we're getting. So I'd like to go look for someone else. But right. We've talked about it in the past. We've never done it seriously. So Why would we sign a year contract if we want to? Well, we have to have somebody. So we well, kind of take a year to find someone. Maybe you modify the language of the contract to include some kind of time frame by which we get responses or we get some other different um, articulated level of service, like this regular monthly. Something that's not happening now that makes it worth the money. That's why I think that they should mm -hmm. come in here and talk to us and then we'll tell them our concerns and let them justify why, why they do the things that they do. Well, I'm okay with having another conversation with them, but we've had them in here before. Not by the current board. Okay. Past boards have had the person come in we have talked about what we don't like. Mm -hmm. We're told one thing, and then every year we're brought back and get another contract, we sign it, and nothing changes. So I, I, I'm kind of at my wit's end with that, to be honest with you. But if we want to try one more time and have a conversation with them, we can. Well, I'm, I'm not prepared to sign it, to be honest, unless we do something, either have them come in or have them send us a justification of why they're going out and what they can do to improve their service by their increase. The one-year contract covers 2019, yes. January to December. Yes. Um, you know, it doesn't give us a lot of flexibility with... And it only just came in, you know, there, there wasn't a lot of um, warning about the increase. What, what was the price for the four-year contract? Not that I'm advocating for that, but... Both are so, oh, I see. There's a there's a balloon payment. That the, if you go one year, it's five thousand, five thousand, five thousand, eighty thousand. Well, um, reval. The revaluation. We get reval every five years. So we're okay. we, we we're into one year. We did it in seventeen. So in eighteen is year one of toward the next reval. So year five is when that happens, which is seventy or eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, so, 
so your point, Denise, having them in here would have to happen next Monday, because that's our last meeting of the year. We I mean, to think can, can we go into January without a signed contract? At this point, the appointments I need are happening this month. Who knows what might happen next month, but, you know. You would think that they would serve us, us being previous customers without a signed contract if we asking for additional information before signing some. And if they're not willing to do it, then we're not, we shouldn't be working with them. I'm sorry. I mean, they've been our, you know, our vendor for several years. How many years have they been doing it? This was just a three-year, right? I mean, so it can't just throw something at us without justification, and we're asking for additional information or me. I would think if, if we had a problem and they didn't come out, that kind of just gives me an answer. We'd like to have another conversation with them. If you want to try, see if they'll come in on next Monday. Okay. We'll try it. I'll hold it off for another week, but I. No, no, no. I, listen, I am always willing to give someone another to look. I really am. And if, if, if you want more information, I, I don't want to. I want just, justification. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. I just I kind of have a with them. That's all. But we can we can um, see if, if, if Chad and Crew can come in or whoever can call Chad to come in next Monday. Yes, I will do that. One thing to keep in mind that is outstanding are the deviations. I don't know what the status of that is, but you know that we had a number of right. abatement applications. Um, when people get denied, they have the right to go to the Bureau of Land Tax Appeals. Um, a half dozen or so people have done that, and that. So the first step is ordered into mediation with the assessing company. Um, they're in that process. If they can't mediate, then BTLA will decide it. So mm -hmm. that's still out there. I mean, clearly, we're going to need assessing services. Mm -hmm. We don't have an assessing department over the next year. So, do I think it's going to take a full year to find another company? Probably not. But it's going to take us several months to of vetting and lining things up. I and mean, we move as a, at a glacial pace as it is, and everything else. <laughs> I and mean, I can't imagine this is going to be any quicker. So that's. I do agree that it's um, there's probably not enough time to do something different for next year except to say, if we're going to pay that money, what can we get for that money? Or can we change language or get a different kind of service mm -hmm. um, for that? But I don't think you can, you know, we're not going to be able to change companies. Until can you like, come and propose it? I don't see why not. Like, why, why okay, should we just we'll accept that as the one true right. path? Yes. If you, if you want to go with them, just say, this is our kind of proposal. Yeah. proposal. And take a certain amount of money out of it until they come and satisfy our needs. Why not? I mean, you shouldn't pay them. How much are they? How much is for one year? I think whatever you do needs to. Whatever change you would want to do, I would suggest that we contact them and this is their contract and ask them to change the language in their contract so that it satisfies the board's will rather than. Yeah, it's not our document, so we can't revise it. No, we, you know, but we can tell them what we, what we want, want and get them to include it, and you'll sign it in another form. Yeah. Okay, so yes, I'll get them from the And then we have, all right, I want to move up um, town warrant conversation. We need to get out of it, I get that. Right with so. Um, I haven't printed it, but I can do so quickly if you want to see what I have drafted for articles. Yeah, why don't you go do that? Okay. You can address. In the meantime, we'll take up the... Uh, uh, I'm going to hold off on number five for the so. Okay. The department heads. What do we got? We have building inspector code enforcement. Junkyard license cancel on Rome Road. Okay. Yes. I think you're coming in. All right, well, come on up. Sure. Hey, how's it going? My conversation about the quicker, but 
Over here. <laughs> yes, I just want to give you a quick update. I um, have this on an email I sent. I got a response from the staff attorney at the Municipal Association. Yes. So I called him today because of some other stuff that I read in this. And he cautioned us against trying to use this to deny the license outright. Right. So I wrote about the change in plans about doing the uh, towing aspect separately. Right. And one of the reasons I came in, because this is a tough email, the way this is read, uh, the, way, sorry, the way this is written, it appears to me that the decision Yeah, the governing body should not meet in private maintenance. We all know all that. But instead of just a letter going out, you know, from me or, or signed by you folks, when the draft has been created, it should be reviewed, changed as necessary, then adopted by the governing body as its decision in a duly noticed public hearing. Right. So it sounds like we need to have another public hearing before the letter goes out. Okay. So I'm going to do the letter. Okay. I'll send you a draft. Um, Make any changes. We're going to just focus on the uh, towing aspect. Right. Saying that it's unlawfully established non-conforming use, and he needs to stop that while he pursues, it, if he chooses to. I mean, he certainly can choose not to pursue the approvals from the zoning board and then and then the planning board. But we're, uh, we're kind of hamstrung in the effect and uh, the attempt of getting the. Junkyard itself. Okay. All righty. So next step is going to be to uh, is to have another public hearing, right? On whether or not we're going to issue a letter. Whether yeah, that that would be the decision. That the the governing body adopts that as its decision in in the next public hearing. So I'll send you the letter and then uh, I'm not sure timing of establishing a public hearing, but I understand that the holidays come up and all that. All right. And it, it has been going on for a while. And, and, so. and, and did you have this conversation about this new section with, with Mr. Buckley? Um, is it Buck Steve Buckley? Yes, Steve Buckley. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. And, and he agrees that we have to have another hearing? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll confirm that, but um, it was one of the things we talked about. He, he, he was very nice about it. He spent yeah. quite a bit of time on the phone. And yeah. I was bringing up different scenarios and can we do this or that. And um, this was one of the things I covered, and I thought for sure that, that it was one of the things he confirmed. All right. So he's asking that, saying that we have to have a public hearing because the first public hearing was on the junkyard. This is on the towing business. The second public hearing will be on the towing business, correct? Um, because we want to relocate it. We want it gone from there temporarily or correct. permanently. So the first one was on the junkyard. But the first one was on the towing. Well, you know, well it was on. on it was on many things, but it was. It was. I think it was published as complaints. a junk. The junkyard uh, about the junkyard area. Was it just solely based on the fact that we had complaints? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why we had to have a hearing. Right. So now we'll have a new hearing on. The towing aspect. That's why I'm not. I'm not I'm trying well, to make light. So. I'm trying to get no, 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 no. We're going to have a hearing on that. It's okay if we do. You bring up a good point because now, I think this just regulates junkyards. It doesn't regulate regulate towing operation. Right. So, I probably didn't get the right details from Buckley. Okay. I just want to make sure we do a project. It makes because it's two different, it's two it different businesses. One has been, one was approved, one has never been approved. So in order to say that we're going to um, make, uh, that he has to go to planning or zoning or whichever one, he needs to be notified of that, and we can't do it unless we have a public hearing. Well, see, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm not sure, because this just regulates the junkyard. The, um, oh, we would treat... I'm thinking now, we would treat the towing operation as if it were any other use that someone started, I mean, despite the passage of time, 
but we would do that so a public hearing wouldn't necessarily be required. This was only for the decision. Because yeah. it's non-conforming at this point, yeah. so you can stop something so immediately we'll just, with non-conforming. Right. I'm right. sorry. Okay. I, I, I'll call them again tomorrow. I spoke with them at length today, but I'm, I want to make sure since we're changing the tactic, going just after the towing, mm -hmm. that if we just focus on that, then probably public hearing would not be necessary. That doesn't make more sense. Do we have a do you have a letter, a draft letter about the towing business yet, or no, no? no. Okay. I don't, I don't so if he if he finds out tomorrow, he can just notify us by email. And I'd like the letter to get out as soon as possible. Yeah, so then we can so. plan a public hearing before yeah. the next meeting. All right. Um, well, because it's going to get on. He needs to get on the agenda of the. Right. Do you um, the planning board? It's too late for January at this point. Well, he might be too late for January. So if you. Um, if you want, I mean, I'll just sign it so it doesn't have to come back to another meeting for you folks. You know, just like a new regular violation notice. Yeah. So I'll make sure it goes out in the next couple of days. I'll send it. Um, Caroline asked to be printed. I'll come in and sign it. But I, I am going to um, talk to the guy. I mean, it's been a while. And I just want to let him know. I'm still just getting right. another letter in the mail. Okay. Okay. So, and his next steps. Yeah. Are coming. Okay. Yes. That'll be outlined in that letter. Yes. So he needs to contact the planning board. Right. Right. And the, or the ZBA first. ZBA planning first, board. planning board, but he needs to suspend the operations. Of the I mean, I went by last night about 8.30, and there wasn't, it was all dark, and there was no, no trucks going in. Now, usually when I drive by, I see at least one truck coming out around there. Yeah. So, I don't know. Has, Chief, have you seen any? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So he is still towing them, clearly. Okay. It's not last night when I drove by it, which is fair enough. But okay, all right. Yes, in the Rollins Road one, I do have a, a draft letter going to. I mean, a, a draft of the letter that I'm going to modify to send to them. Because I've been by it a couple of times since, and it, to me, it's difficult to tell whether or not it's occupied. I mean, it's, it's between two buildings, mm -hmm. and the windows are kind of covered. Oh, the Rollins Road. Um, Camper? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It looks like it's not plugged into anything anymore. It's, it's attached to the garage doors, but it, the other part that was there isn't yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, so maybe, maybe it was a temporary a situation. Yeah. 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 Obviously, clearly they can store it there in the winter. I mean, that's mm -hmm. not a. That's not the, uh, the Prospect Street lady, um, I went by after the last meeting and, yeah. and once since, and despite the obnoxious display of Christmas lights. Oh. Well, they lights on last time. Okay. I was five, but they're new, I guess. Um, it didn't appear to be occupied. No, okay, well, that's a good. There's a on it when I went by, and right, it's covering well, the door, yeah, so it's yeah. not, I don't think yeah. there's something in there. All right, well, same yeah. thing as far as storage yeah. goes. Yeah. They're allowed to storage. They're allowed store. to do that. Yeah. 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 Okay. But thank you for checking. And I know that uh, legal counsel has contacted the other Rollins Road, uh, ACC down. Yes, okay. they sent a good letter, yes. Oh, they did the one on the other. Oh, yeah, the other one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That will be resolved soon, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? All right. I know. All right. Okay. okay. That was it. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Clearly, the first article is the ballot. Um, um, but note number article two, we're going to have to um, keep yes. working on figuring out who all those, like, what all those fence viewer and tree right. warden and what all those funny positions are that each have to individually go on the ballot. There is um, a article, yes. We oh, to, now because it used to be our yeah, meeting. Yeah, it all has to go on the ballot. So that's going to go on the ballot. But there is a t article later on this warrant that you can, if you want to choose to include it, that um, would delete all those going forward so that it would be the last year. So that we're not including it on the ballot because we've got about 20 minutes worth of things to vote on now. Let alone. Who's going to be looking at fences? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so zoning chance. So uh, the, you're all going to. Do three zoning changes. Yes. Yeah, um, we have um, a public hearing scheduled for January 8th at our next planning board meeting for. These um, are the actual ones, though. 
Okay. So these are the actual topics. Obviously, oh, the language isn't language. worked up. Yeah. The language for um, that second one is probably quite close to what it's going to be. To see if the town will vote. To, okay. The board select board select board it doesn't mean. Okay. That's for. Um, Throughout the ordinance. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Just to allow the board flexibility that should you ever want to appoint a designate for anything that you are responsible for in that ordinance, that at any future time you can designate somebody else to carry out that responsibility. Sense. I know Mr. Uh, Crooks was pretty clear that we were one of the few towns yeah. south of the notches that actually do this this way anymore. Okay. The towns that do things like that maybe have like seven, eight, ten occupants. I'm, I'm really hoping we can get us up to 1989. But right, yeah. fair enough. Yes. All right, so then zoning ordinance change. Uh, uh, um, let's see to C1 section 8. This is about the um, mixed use, how many apartments can be in the Right, 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 right. good, okay. Like good. It corrects the inconsistency yep. for 2017. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and yeah, then we come to the budget. So, just be thinking to yourselves as an aside, um, these are in a not quite but almost random order. Um, there is some strategy about how you might want to order these. Um, you might be thinking about that for future discussion about how many we might want to place these differently. My point was just to get them all here for Right, yeah, they don't naturally have to go on this order. Sure, that makes sense. Um, so then we have the operating budget, and then contained within that operating budget is a default budget. Um, thank you or for is, saying that. Or is there a separate warrant? Or no, it is. Budget? It is part of the same. Okay. I have to add that. Okay. So if they vote now, they're voting for the default budget. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Let's just check. Okay. Pretty clear. Police cruiser. Message board for police department, town hall boiler, radios for the fire department. Um, is Mark coming back tonight? Uh, he was meeting with the lady to update the firefighters. And then he told oh, me that he right. was going to come back with the PO for that, so he doesn't tend to come back. Okay, so I know that you had mentioned that there was some concern. Yeah, I talked to him tonight. At the budget committee about this uh, yeah. number, or the number of radio bills. Yep. We, um, I talked to him about that tonight, and um, he is on board with what we were, so that we'll, so um, he's going to extend an invitation to the budget committee to come. So he's going to work that out. That's fine. So, that. so we don't need to change it. This is what we no, we still want to go with. Okay. Construction of police station or town and town hall facility. We will have more conversation about that. I'm mm -hmm. sure soon. Uh, closing of trust funds. And we'll talk about those are some of the ones we talked about. Yeah. Right. Okay. And there'll be some language there talking about the closing slash combining. Right. So that'll be clear. So course. we need to think about how you want to do which fund and do which fund and how many articles you want to address okay. that. All right. Can we do it all in one or does it have to be? You can do it all in one if you want to put fund A, B, and C into D. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Otherwise, yes, you can still combine them, but does that make sense? Because yeah. somebody might not like a part of it, and right. the whole thing's going to fit right. in for that. I, mean, I would suggest to take all the ones that should probably be under um, CIP, just doing those together, and then yep. uh, if there's anything else, do it separately. Do it. No, isn't the boiler out of CIP? Um, yes, yeah. it is. I don't know how, yes. Um, it's not noting that, and I need to. Um, figure out how much money is coming out of CIP, so yes, thank yeah. you. So then, article blank to see if the town will vote and approve additional sections. Oh, so this is uh, Wentworth Street, Pleasant Street. Yes. We'll get to that uh, later on in the agenda, but, okay. Is, these are by petition, some of these? None of these are by petition. Okay. These are all proposals for the board That's to right. consider. My apologies. So They've come to us asking us to do this. Right, and to that, to that end, I would say we're probably going to, you know, consider that there will be petition. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. And, and also keep in mind, we don't have to, just because it's on this piece of paper, this is just a, a road map. We don't have to, with the exception of some of these, we don't have to include all of them on the warrant if we don't want to. So, right. for some reason, if, we, if the select board rejected the, uh, approving the, the streets coming under, under uh, town 
The board has the authority over what articles get on the warrant. So mm -hmm. there's been a request by the developer to have the town approve those sections of roadway. But if um, an engineer review or the town otherwise finds that the work is not satisfactory and ready for approval, then the board would choose not to include it on the warrant. But they have a time frame in which they have to give us that information. So they have submitted the request. It is on the agenda for later in this meeting oh. about whether you might want to ask the town engineer to go review the paving situation to see if it would meet town standards and the plan of improvement. Okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but ask the town engineer. Anyway, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, I already lost my place. So, so, so the next one is the recreation, the recreation committee. Yeah. And I would say, Denise, that you and I ought to talk about this one. I looked at the language from last year's historical um, trust fund mm -hmm. that was established, which is for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me that we need to know in the article what is the purpose of the fund. What, it, what are the funds going to be? used for. Mm -hmm. So um, we can talk about that separately. Yeah. Uh, then we also have the CIP fund, which already, we've already discussed, the culvert repair fund, which we've already voted on, the capital land trust we've already voted on, and then it comes with the surveys and related expenses. Uh, see if the town will vote to raise it. You just took the same exact language, right? Yes. The sum of 5000 to finance land surveys and related expenses that may be incurred in assisting private landowners. Do you any conservation easements to purchase options to further authorize the referral? Okay. So this just comes straight from that other fund, right? It's not from direct taxation? Is that one? Right. Yeah. If there is a request. So it doesn't happen unless a landowner comes with a request that is Okay. So my question for this last blank article is, um, all of these antiquated positions in town, do we want to have them, if, if the board wishes to do away with these positions, would you want to do so in one article, in which case somebody might really care about one of those positions which would make the whole thing fail, or you can have seven things to approve the ballot. But then if it fails, you have to put every single one on the one article, I mean, on an article again, yeah. or on the ballot. Again, yeah. separately, or, or something, just something so to think So it's about. not something that the board can do um, because it's an appointment, not an election. It can't do it after the March. It's been an elected position, elected at town meeting. At town so meeting. Can't, the board doesn't have the authority to change that. They're elected Oh, it's positions. elected by the people. Uh, yes. Then, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So we have surveyors okay. of wood and lumber. So in theory, and tree ward. Like it, it may be possible to put an article on the warrant to change those positions from elected to appointed, and that would be another way to handle this. So that, that way, a better can, way to do you it. You can right? keep the positions, but it wouldn't help you for this year. So yeah, we still have to put it on the on the ballot for each year. and every one of them. But yes. they may be changing it to be in a, you know an appointment versus an elected, elected position. Which would be By more efficient the, to, in that way, that board. Yeah. those who respect and honor history mm -hmm. in those positions can do I so. I think it's sad to have it go even though, yeah. Okay. And those three right. people would be delighted to keep their spots, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, well, we have parks and rec, too. All right, so we need to decide whether or not we want to do that or not. So. Mm -hmm. but in the meantime, we have to include the four offices. All right. Anything else for the warrant that we need to know about tonight? I don't believe so. We'll be revisiting. Okay. And the budget along here was just um. Was the that's just a um, placeholder. I think that's just a placeholder and it's on the warrant and um and it's also about your ongoing budget process updates with your sure. Officio. So we'll get to that. We'll come back to that. Well, I don't have to go now. Oh. Carrie was able to come home. So oh, okay. I'm so here you're here. Lovely. All right. Okay. Great. So we can go back to our uh, regularly scheduled program, yes. I guess. Yes. Okay. All right. I think anything else for Carol on? No. Nope. All right, then. Okay. Thank you. Good, then. Thank you. Okay. Good we'll go back to uh, the agenda. Fire. The fire chief isn't here. So I guess I can't even look up every once in a while. So. <laughs>
of ties in with some of the discussion that we had previous about protective clothing. Yeah. Um, four or five members just get measured because their gear, like we've said, is shelf life. Yeah, we're at the shelf life. So they come in, measure them, and they'll we'll have it in six weeks or so by the time they get it all manufactured. Um, we had a PO a few weeks ago for some other miscellaneous protective clothing equipment. So there was like $2,000 left in his line item. Mm -hmm. and that's why we had that discussion before about the hose line item. Mm -hmm. Because 1440 version on protective clothing for those various ensemble items. How much? Make sure I can go someplace. $4,600. Oh, $4,600. Forty-six. I don't know, they're like 46 or 47. You had 46. That's it. Um, do these things add up to 46? Yeah, and that's yeah. actually just an estimate on the high side. Okay. Because uh, I think I wrote on there ensemble was seven thirty four hundred bucks at seventeen hundred bucks. It's actually sixteen hundred and eighty two dollars okay. for the set. So I just rounded it up ahead. So we have to move and then we'll discuss it. So uh, I'll move purchase order fourteen forty eight to Bergeron protective clothing in the amount of forty six hundred dollars for um, protective clothing. Second. Moved and second. Okay. Any discussion? Now, does that include boots and helmets as well? So it's, uh, it's top to bottom. Yep, two complete ensembles, it's one set of pants. Uh, there's a helmet in there, there's a set of boots in there. And uh, so I, I actually threw in some of the numbers this time just because maybe it strikes home with a little reality on how much this stuff actually costs. Mm -hmm. What is the shelf life from the boots? Ten years is okay. the shelf so life for a set of turnout here. So when it says two complete turnout ensembles, that includes helmet, boots, pants, that includes jacket. Boots and pants, that's all. That's it, okay. And you can see the other things here. If you want a set of boots, what's that? 300 bucks? No, 200 bucks for boots, boots, 300 bucks for a helmet, about another $100 for a set of gloves, about $50 for a hood, $5,000 for a radio, $6,000 for an air pack. It's all considered as ensemble. All right. And it's coming out of protective clothing, and you're going to take the rest of it out of the hose line? Correct. Okay. And that's still going to leave money up to that hose line, so it's still going to all fit together. And you got some of your number for hose there, then? I know. No? Okay. All right. Any other discussion? All right. So purchase order 1440 has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. No. Nope, that one stays with you folks, and I'll give you the rest of this someday. Uh, my second one is 1449. It's the national foam. It's for three tubs of firefighting foam concentrate. Because when we bought the engine, we had two in it has a 30 gallon tank. We had two tubs, and it was five gallons a piece. We put that in, and we used some of it. So this is the hard man, but we had it on the engine. All right, so I'm going to put it 1449 national foam. For three uh, tubs, tubs of uh, Class A firefighting foam concentrate for three hundred dollars. Second and supplies. Purchase order fourteen forty nine has been moved and seconded. Any conversation questions? Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. that the night when they show up at the fire station. Good. Okay. I'll wrap it all up in one big file swoop. Thank you. All right. Anything else for the fire chief? No. Right. Actually, Thank those you. two tabs I submitted can go to this little folder, and that goes to Caroline and some other stuff in there. Hopefully don't. Are you yeah. coming next week, or? Probably not. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas to you. Good holidays and everything. Okay. It's enjoyable. Okay. Thank you. Take okay. care. Gentlemen. All right.
I would. I want. Okay, go ahead. You look probably shorter than I am. We're doing the agenda in order, George. Come on up, That's please. That's unusual. <laughs> I think the the chief has a larger presentation too, though. So oh, okay. you may be asking him more questions. So, all right. I'm gonna you want to do something with the baler? Uh, I have a PO for yep, that. Sure. Baylor, you want yep. $17,700 for the buyout of the bill. Second. Okay. So, my understanding is after looking at the uh, <laughs> quarter, third quarter numbers, or in the fourth quarter, actually, we, yeah. where we should be have sufficient funds to pay for this outright? Yeah, we maxed out every line in the highway and transportation budget for the rest of the year, talking about salaries and all of that stuff that goes. Yep. And we also um, put in the, what we knew, and right. there is enough money in his own budget to cover the bailer. You don't have any other POs in there for repairs to things we don't know about? Or? I have another PO for the plow if we want to buy the plow. I got a used one. I, I found a used one for about 1500 No, but I mean, we don't have any, any big Don't ticket any repairs or anything coming? No. No, okay. so I think, yeah, right. Caroline knew most of them and we yeah, yeah. maxed it out. So if I have, they have, so. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have any outstanding obligations, and so and we, and we have sufficient funds for this. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or concerns? It's time to well, let them be known. Okay, so did we consider that we're going to let them keep the other one and fix it? So. That that five hundred is out of the equation as in revenue. Correct. Just make sure that. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know it has nothing to do with this. Nothing with yet, so. Okay. Okay. We're still waiting for the electrician. We got they were closed last week. You can text us on a business trip, mm -hmm. so he should be coming back, and I should be hearing from him this week to get this wired up. The big one. Yeah. Okay. So we be operating. So. Okay. okay. All right. Purchase order fourteen ninety six has been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Go forth and bail. Let's take care of that next year. What else you got for us, George? Now, I have an application mm -hmm. that came forward. Uh, I work at the transfer station a couple days a week and a backup to work at the highway by the end. Okay. In my Kucha. Okay. And yeah. I was just wondering if, what we, if we could go forward with that to fill, get us back up to full staff transfer station. Have we had budgeted for a Saturday event, didn't we? And this is a two. We, we're, down, again? we're down the two. We're down only the three, two people there. That's right. So this is the, just to bring back up to full staff. Was that was that a consideration? I don't. It was mostly the highway department that we yeah. were using. I, those funds should be there. The yeah, they haven't used yeah. any overtime. <laughs> you know, that For that, right. Mm -hmm. okay. and gotcha. We can go down to two people, but it's getting, you know, if we start bailing and stuff, you're going to need that third. Okay. Yeah, and, and Mark's already applied. Do we have Mark's applied? Yeah, he's, okay. I've already talked with him, and uh, I have his application actually. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you, uh, do you want him to come on this week? No, we will just we can I can call him and just you know as long as I get a commission and give him a call and let's let him say we'll bring him on. If you want to meet him, we can help you. I know him. So. I've met him a couple times. So I can't worry about that. The first of the year, and then you don't have to deal with right. any other things. Well, I'm not trying to get him through the process. Through the process. Like he said, he's not you know. Sure. I, I was going to say that. You year. can reach out to him, and we can do it officially. Then bring the application in next week, and we sign off on it. Because just there's a place for us to sign at the bottom. That's the higher rank authority. I, I, I thought there was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we should nice Okay. Yeah, I would just recommend we start the first week in January and just yeah, like and then you don't have to do any of that payroll stuff and start okay. so, yeah, yeah, a week. Yeah, you'd be better off. Anyways. You know? 
Any, right. Do these moves that we hire Mark Kucher for a road agent? No. Transfer, Transfer station, station attendant beginning January 1. He said the end of 2019. So that would be a plus for like a three month right. service. Okay. So you're moving that we hire Mark Kucher as a transfer station attendant starting January 1, 2019? Yes. No, second. You're seconding. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Perfect. Thank you. Let Mark know and say thank you for stepping forward. Okay. Uh, I brought up about buying a plow for the skid steel last week. Uh huh. The new one is 2542. Okay. I have gone online and we purchased one in. Belchertown, Mass. at Orchard Hills Farm Equipment. They have a used one for $13.99, and we'll have to change the, the, the fittings on it to match up that bar cap, which may be up to $20. Uh, I'm fine with the used ball. It, it's a choice, you know, we can make. I, I still believe we need a plow to do the sidewalk, you know. What do you think? What was the new one for? It's $13.99. The new one no, was the new one $25. $25. For and so this one's thirteen dollars $14. $1,400? Yeah. $1,400 plus $200 for. Yeah, maybe fittings for a place with high dollar fittings. They're probably looking at $1,600 for dollars What about delivery? We'll think we'll have to go get it. What is it? So you'll use a town vehicle. There's yeah. no mileage. Do you know what Belcher Town is, George? Culture yeah. Town. Oh, two and a half hours. Western Massachusetts. Just want to make sure you understand how far away it is. Okay. No, I mean, it would cost more to have it delivered. Yeah. Consistently. Yeah. It's yeah. more your time, I'm thinking. Um, I think in the forecast. I know what you want. <laughs> Brain fart, sorry. What are your thoughts? Um, I like the price tag better than a new one, and I, I, I trust you when you say that you, you need this piece of equipment, so I think we should move forward with it. I think, you know, plowing with a bucket, you can't, it, it all stays in front of you. At least with a plow, you're pushing it off to the side as you're going along. You've got to keep dumping it, you know, and turning and stuff, and actually the bucket's wider than anything. What, what do you mean bucket? Like the On the skid steer. No, oh, oh, the skid okay. steer is, the machine's six feet wide. Unfortunately, I said I was five, so we're limited to what we can do with it as it is. Okay. You know, so we, the machine doesn't stay on the sidewalk at all, and doing it with a bucket and stuff, and it's just so much easier to have the snow coming off in front of you, and so you can keep moving along instead of being pushed off the sidewalk. And it's and. Uh, so it's a snow blower attachment. Is that what it is? No, the snow blower we have. Okay. We already have the no, snowboard no. attachment, but okay. when it gets wet, heavy snow, right. you're plugged up within 10 or 15 feet. It's, just, it's, it's, it's right. more difficult to use. Uh, so it's like an actual plow. So it's, it's a a little, like a plow and a pickup truck, but much right. smaller. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Instead of using the front end loader part of it, I mean, it, it goes where that goes. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, attaches there, but at least you'd be able to drive along and have the snow come off the front of your vehicle. Instead so of collecting in the front of it. You know, you have to keep picking it up and turning and dumping right. and picking it up and dumping it. Mm -hmm. They were purchase order for it. I didn't make the purchase order, but I can write one up right now. And what I have to do is have to have a check. So I'm going to have to have Caroline do the checks. You need to use your smile and say that right. she's coming in this week. Um, so you said that you you are going to be able to use that after yeah, if you eventually that, get this articulator. We'll let the transfer station okay. and stuff. And if we need it outside the transfer station, we still have. You know, if we decide to go with the sidewalk, I mean, this is, we're looking at two years anyways. Okay. All right. You know, so it's for Orchard Hills Farm Equipment in Belcher Town, Mass. So you're familiar with the location, I think. Vaguely. <laughs> I know where the, I know it's pretty clear. The part of the state is done. It's pretty clear, Mass. No, exactly, but it's near, you, it's near Amherst, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the town right next to him. Can we make the motion to conclude the fact that we have to make sure that we can verify that there is money left in his budget after we just paid for the bailer? And if there isn't money in his budget, we won't be able to get it. Can we just make it if, that well, we have to check with Caroline tomorrow? Because I don't know how much was left after we just paid for that. Well, why don't we do this? Well, she told me it was $49,000 available. But after that? After the bailout? In your budget? 
Yeah. Who's good at that? No, it was. Yeah. But, but was that after paying for the bailer or before paying for the that was No, that was part of the... The, the total. Right. Okay, so how much was the bailer again? 17, 17. Oh, then we should be outside. Okay. But it's still under 20. Okay. That's only 1,600 just there, right? So yeah, I'm going to put it... Now, to, to them it's going to be... If he has the fittings, I can get them there, but it's not, I'll have to get the fittings from Bob Cat and the hair shop. So why don't you make for sort of up to sixteen hundred, and then um, if not, then you can purchase the uh, purchase them through Bobcat separately if you need to. New purchase order 1498 Orchard Hill Farms equipment for a used car for the skid steer for total of not to exceed 1600. Second, okay. Purchase order 1498 has been moved and seconded. Is there any other discussion? When would you be able to take uh, delivery of this? This week, if we can get a check. Checks are being cut this week, so very so. much. All right, any other discussion? All those email count. Say aye. 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 Opposed?
the right of way behind Kelwin Drive. Uh, there's uh, some tree issues apparently back there. Yeah, I went down and looked at some trees. They are a couple of very tall bull pines that are yeah. dead or dying. Dying, okay. I know a lot of branches have come off, a lot of pieces that broke off and treated it. Uh, right. Are they very, very tall pines? They are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I already looked at them and it, it's actually my brother in law's house. Okay. And uh, I told him, I said, no money to take these trees down. He says, there's no big rush. He says, when, it, when there is some money to have them looked at, take them down. Or... Well, I'm wondering if they're... And my thought is, is... If they're in really bad shape, there's some Mother Nature taking them down, and I don't want them to fall on anyone's house, regardless right. of who's related well, to the crops. Well, I don't think they'd get dead to that point. Okay. And he doesn't either, but, you know, like he said, the branches are coming down occasionally. Right. That, now, the story, what is it? I don't know the story with this right away. It's an easement, right? It's a, uh, the easement to the uh, conservation land back there. I think of what it's right? Back there? It's cheap now, I guess. Remember it's back there, right? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's getting grown yet. So it's ours. I mean, that's okay, the... Okay, so, I mean, do you want the rest of these small trees taken out before they get too tall? Well, if you're... I mean, there's no access there if you if that keeps growing in. So we have a bush hog now, right? We can go in and... Well, that would, no, it'd be more going in with the chipper and cutting it. So they're that big? Oh yeah, they're getting, you know, they're starting to get some size to them and stuff. And oh. they're, they're not going to be able to access it with a truck. They could actually reach those trees from my brother-in-law's driveway with a crane. That's how close they have to them. I mean, right, 50, but, 60 feet across the yard. But so the rest of it we don't want becoming that again, so. No, I mean, and you've got a lot of big ones in that, down that stretch of road. Okay, so. So are we talking about, it's a horseshoe type. Are we talking about, like. Behind the houses. Behind the houses. Between like, there and going to. Rest. Oh, it's this way, closed over, not yes. with the parking lot. No. Okay. So and how? The other side, some of it. It kind of goes in the middle, doesn't it? No, it's so it's I, such I, a messed I, up. Well, I know, but behind, like when you're going the hush room here, is it behind it? That's where the conservation area is, right? And it goes out behind go down the Calvin, mall thing. And you head, you bear to the right. Sort of, sort of like a dead end there. Yep, yep. That's it. There. All that. Oh, you're talking about the Cl Clary's and um, what's his name? Is? Yeah. So, okay, so that's. You start there and go down behind the houses on the right hand side of the loop. Oh, that's where you're so talking about. You're not talking about in the rear. Well, it, it is the rear, but it's all the rear. Well, yes. Cohen is the whole street, is the whole Correct. loop. Yeah, but they're not all One the is Summersworth and one is Rollinsworth. Right. But this one w was renamed. Not yeah, but it, right, and then but it came it, back to Calvin. Right. Okay, so it's on that side of it then. Right. Is yes. that conservation over there? No. I thought it yeah. was in the rear. It is in the rear. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah. but there's a strip to access all that in the rear. Is is the town's right of way, and it's a conservation easement to get in there. Okay, okay. And how do you get in there? At the dead end side of when you come in Calvin and go there right. Yeah. To the dead end. Yeah. Apparently it starts at the end of the dead end and it goes down behind all the houses on the right hand side. And keeps on going. After down to the yeah. corner behind the house down at the bottom of the hill apparently. Yeah. It goes towards the left. Okay. Yeah. So you can't access, I don't believe you can access it from Pine Crest. But you, but you can't can access it, it from maybe in one maybe in one or two spots. But you can't access it from the, the parking lot and go from behind and go that way instead of being behind somebody's house. Okay, that's where the trees are in the in the easement. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned with one that there may be trees that are our responsibility falling on someone's house. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and I don't want to exacerbate the problem. If there are smaller trees that could be taken down, we probably should be looking at that in the springtime. Yeah, I mean, some of that stuff we can do it away. You know, I mean, when, it, when we don't get a lot we of We have stuff, a chipper that you want to... Yeah, we, we have a chipper, don't we? We have the chipper. And you have a chainsaw? Mm -hmm. The town has chainsaws. And we have somebody can cut trees. Perfect. Maybe we can work on the winter. Though. Yeah, because I mean, the worst time for the but trees to fall well, is in the winter. We do need to. Um, but those are going to need a crane. To cognizant of the fact that it's conservation land, so I don't know who owns the whole easement. Is it South? Maybe we probably want to consult with them before we start. Southeast Land Trust own, I think, holds the, the easement to access it. But if it's in the town right away part, that's one thing. But we, I don't want us to go yeah, too too crazy and into it and we cut down a couple of their trees and they get upset. So 
but in this case, we don't have it, and we should be concerned about that. But okay, so, but you don't believe that the trees are, you know, like, are, are that far away. Right, it's that extreme, but, you, you know, I mean, they're, they're pines, and with heavy snow and stuff, you're going to have branches that come down and wind. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think the whole tree is trees. that one. It's coming down in section, you know, pieces. Well, we, if we were my house, I don't want I, I don't I want section you. coming down on I my agree house, with so. You. I, uh, it's going to require a crane. Especially if we've been notified about it. So. But okay. he, he said, you know, he wanted to make us aware of it. And, uh, All right, so we'll keep it on our list. You keep a list of, of, I do, of the dead trees in town and know that. No, so we, we have, if you bump that to the top. Yeah, we could put get that one with the other one on General Sullivan that we couldn't get to do with the crane this year. Right. So right. get those After the budget, uh, a budget is with it, Yeah, whatever budget we have for it. By the way, there will be money for trees in there, so. Okay, let's just not lose sight of it. Anything else for George? Anything else for us? It's a lot, so. No, I think everything's good right now. I am going to be having the pickup service next week for the first time. You know what now? What? The oil change and pickup is about 55. Oh, you're having oh, a pickup, pickup service? service. <laughs> I was like, what? I think it's... I thought you said, what? Pickup, pickup service? <laughs> pickup what? No, no, pickup truck. <laughs> I got you, George. Okay. Yeah. We are on the We're a little gun shy right now, so. <laughs> Okay. It won't be nothing major that's coming. Okay. All right. So, thank you. Have a good. Have a great night. And are you coming in next Thursday? Will it need me to? Uh, if not, we'll oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday night it will be. Uh, Monday night. I meant next uh, Monday. 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 Yeah. I didn't even say what day it was. Next meeting on Monday night. Are you coming? Monday out. Uh, if I need something, I'll be here for that. If not, we'll Merry Christmas. I'll, I'll be here Wednesday. That was the point. Wednesday here. <laughs> okay. So. I guess we say happy holidays because we won't see you for New Year's either. Anyways, all right. Have a nice both of them. So, all right. See ya. Bye. Chief, please come. I know you're here for it, but I really am trying to, no to do this in order. And I know we have to see a lot more of our time. Okay, three weeks ago, <laughs> yes. we seized the dog and held it for 10 days under a rabies hole. The dog uh, bit a young girl in the face, and the uh, owners could not produce. Uh, Proof that the dog had been vaccinated. Right. And come to find out the dog had not been vaccinated for quite some time. So, K9 K has sent us a bill for $300 for one rabies hole. Uh, purchase order number 1542 to K9 KS. And this will come out of our animal fees. We will in turn send the owner a, uh, a bill for the, for the service. Uh, we'll move from purchase order 1542. To K9 Chaos for three hundred dollars for a rabies hold. Second. How is the, uh, the little girl? She's doing okay. All right, good. Okay. Any other uh, questions? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So purchase order fifteen forty two. Been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Is it not the law to have a rabies shot? Is it, it is the law. Yes, I'm Okay. Last Thursday, uh, I sent the Ford Taurus over to the city of Dover for repair. The steering wheel, you had to, to fight to turn it. Uh, purchase order number 1543 to the city of Dover to repair a steering shaft assembly. Uh, $500. And that will come out of a vehicle maintenance line item. Oh, can I ask? Oh, let's, we'll do this one, but I had a question about Was the dog not registered either then? Correct. <laughs> Okay, anyways, that's enough for that. Okay. Alright, I move purchase order 1543 to the City of Dover for repairs on Cruiser 73 for the steering shaft assembly for $500 even. Second that. Alright. Do we have it back now? We do. Pick it up today. It's working, running. It's working fine. And, uh, you know, the, the, it, t it takes so long for the City of Dover to send invoices sometimes. We'll probably end up paying that in 2019, actually. But we, we'll get it approved in that also. Perfect. Any other questions? All right. Purchase order 1543 is moved to second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye second. Um, and no. All right. Is that an exact amount? Pardon? Is that an exact amount? Do you know that that is the It's going to be less than 500. Yeah. So you're not 100% sure? I'm not 100%. Right? So we don't want to pay the bill to keep it out of this year? All right. All right. That's all I have for purchase orders. Um, I have prepared a, uh, a couple of... Uh, Amendments to the housing ordinance. Okay. I meant to send them to Tom today, but with the here and a couple of meetings I had today, I didn't do them. I sent them first thing in the morning. Okay. Um, he'll review them this week. We'll 
finalize them, and then so you'll have them on the, the agenda hopefully next Monday. Okay. That's all that I have for you folks. I have something down here that we probably should talk over here. Anything else for the chief on besides about the nuclear station? Don't want to talk about that. No, nice. that's not what you need. Okay, Miles. All right. All right. So we have further down on the agenda, police station, town hall, war and order. How are we coming along with um, with, with um, doing anything about the, town, the police station for this coming year? Well, all of the the numbers have been revised and they've all been submitted to the committee. Okay. So. I can forward it to you. Okay. So. Is the committee going to meet then and make a recommendation as to what the town should <laughs> not be looking at, or the select board should or should not be looking at? I thought we voted to go forward, so. Well, we did, but not. At that time, we didn't have a revised number, so okay. I, I would suggest we just meet really quick and say, you know, All right. one or the other, good. or yep. uh, you know, is there an option of presenting both and having a Okay. Well, so, so what I thought the process was going to look like, all many many months ago now, um, actually even before you got on the board, was that we would we would present to the townspeople a number of options, and they would let us know what they thought they liked. Back up. The, the, the building space needs committee was going to meet, come up with a number of options, gather information about that, have a hearing. That we did that vet some of those, and then make recommendations to the select board. The select board was then going to say, okay, this is option A, build a new police station, option B, build a new police station town hall combo, option C, I don't know, build, I don't know, what, build, pick your building, whatever you want to build, demolish off the back and build. I mean, there are different options that could happen. Um, we're running out of time to actually have any of that conversation with people. Um, so. I'm getting a little a little skittish about whether or not this is going to happen for this war. Well, the last public hearing that we had about the, the facility, um, we presented, you know, the Ronald's Road site, right. the, uh, the Greenview site, the Silver Street site, okay. and, and we talked about this building a little bit as well. Right. And I think the consensus out of that meeting was to... Um, go forward uh, either at the Silver Street site or the possibility of the Greenview Drive site. Right. Okay. So now we're down to the point where, okay. based upon that, out of those two, it, it apparently, apparently it's just going to be the Silver Street site. Okay. So uh, since then, we have revised figures for one floor only, police only, Okay. and town hall for second floor. So that can so be our we have those. So, we so can, those could be the two. I guess. Here. Okay. All right. So I want to make sure we're all on the same. I'm on the same page. Yeah. Okay, so there is still that opportunity to have a public hearing with multiple options. Okay, that's that's important, I think, to people. I don't want people just to come in and say, okay, it's a combination. Nope, we're not going to do it. I want people to have uh, a little bit of, um, I want people to have options. So when um, when do you think that you all can get the community together to have... Um, I'll send something out tonight or tomorrow morning okay. to see when the availability is. Okay. And, and We'll do it as soon as we can. Okay. Um, what else did I want to ask only, while you were here? No, go ahead. My only concern is that we haven't addressed what we will do with this thing there is that, that we're sitting yeah. in that if we go forward with silver, I mean, with the new complex. That's the only thing that I think that, I don't know, to me it's hard to say what we're going to do with it because, right. I mean, but I don't know, because that was brought up at last week's meeting by Lorraine. It was, yes. Yeah. I think it was last week, right, yeah. I mean, there are, yeah, there's still a number of unanswered questions in my mind that I want. I would like to get the answer. And that is one of them. What do we do with this very large building right now? So. Well, the thing is that, though, as much as I'm concerned with, we don't have a plan yet, we also are a year and a half out, too. I mean, right. it's, they're, we're going to have to be in here for the next year if that happens, if not longer, right? I mean, I mean, it's going to be at least a year. Oh, at least. At least, yeah. Um, so, you know. And I mean, that's why we have the boiler on the right, on the warm, right. because even the worst case, best case scenario, if it, all, everything got passed, mm -hmm. and you got a new town hall police station built on Silver Street, it's mm -hmm. going to be at least a year and a half, right? Like, at least. And you've got a boiler that's on borrowed time. Right, yeah. so. Yeah. So we have 
have to do that. Right. So, okay. Yeah. So, but there are still other, yeah. There. So we can talk again at the meeting um, right. and see if we can come up with a plan on, on this building. But. Well, I mean, just, just you don't have to have a plan. No, just, just, just recommendations just. that you can make to the select board, and then we can try to figure out a plan. Mm -hmm. So, well, we've discussed a couple of a couple of options already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just develop just, or whatever the case might be. So, so we'll just have to put it in writing as a part yeah. of the proposal that would be to helpful. the board. That would be helpful, and then we will start our part of the process. Okay. And we don't have a lot of time before the market board, so. And we have deadlines that we'd have to meet for the bond. So we're going to go the bond route. Well, Caroline had put something in here about that, um, that if she's looking for permission to proceed in getting, mm -hmm. where was it? I'm not seeing it now. Well, it's part of this. this it's, not, it's part of the um, police station town hall warrant article. Oh, okay. If we are really considering doing okay. anything, we don't have a proposal yet in front of us. She needs permission to talk to bond counsel. Because it will cost something it to do It does cost money just to have a conversation with them. them so. so that's what she was looking for. Our attorney, they have like, billable hours. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I don't know when we have to do that, though, after they propose, after we send a proposal to the board. I mean, I don't want to just give blanket, you know, carte blanche here, just go talk to bond counsel. I mean, we got to have something. No, no, right. I know. So the process so is after we give you our proposal, yes, and whether sorry, the board, yeah, the, after sorry. the board either accepts it or go to go forward or not. Yes. And if it's going forward, then then we give her permission to talk to bond counsel. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. So is there, just one before you leave, I want to make sure we've got everything covered. Sure. So we have you're all going to get together with the committee, hopefully in the coming weeks, mm -hmm. um, to um, to. Uh, ratify one plan or another to move forward to the select board, a recommendation mm -hmm. rather, mm -hmm. and then we can move. All right, you've already got us numbers, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else I'm not thinking of? So Miles, will there be another public hearing? Or no? Oh, yeah. I there's think be at least yeah, one. You, yeah. There may okay. be more than one. There's going to need to be at least one, I think just for the idea. I think once it's proposed to go forward and bring it to the board, I think the board has to have a public hearing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we will start having And then we have to have a vote on the right. um, If we go the bond, bond, then there are there are more than one opportunity or requirement to yeah. hearing. So. Okay. All right. Anything else for the police chief one? I feel like this is going to be a longer conversation. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> Anticlimactic, I guess. Sorry. But I feel like I'm forgetting to ask you something. I don't know well, what it is. reach me if it pops up later or tomorrow when the police might be. Yes. So. How are we doing staff wise? The same? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, Sean had a operation on his liver uh, a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. He's going in next week to operate on the other half of the liver. We anticipate we probably will not see him for many, many months at this point. All right. Uh, Jamie is scheduled to, oh, I, I do have one more time, sorry. Jamie uh, is scheduled to come back tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. I thought he already came back. But okay. Um, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. I thought it was last week, so I'm, like, I'm a week behind. Um, I have, well, it's just a rumor, so I won't mention it, but. Um, Should we go into non-public session? No, no. Okay. Officer Hancock has about 64 hours of vacation time wow. remaining. Okay. Um, <laughs> that he has to use uh, between now and June. Oh, okay. Um, and of course, in January, he, he accumulates even more. Right. Um, my, little, my concern is, is that, uh, if he has to use it all up by June of next year, then if we don't have Sean back and possibly another vacancy, um, we're going to have a severe shortage of employees between January and June of next year. Mm -hmm. So I've come up with this proposal. Um, we pay him 40 hours of vacation time this year. This way here, next year we're not paying someone to cover his shift for those 40 hours. Right. And it makes it a lot easier for the schedule later on. So if we take 40 hours, it's $808. Yeah. There's plenty of surplus left in my line item. There's plenty of surplus left in Jamie's line item. Right. And there's plenty of surplus in Scott Stevens' right. line item right. to take care of that $808. And he's willing to do that. So you're so buying out. We're buying out, we're buying out 40 one, hours. One week, one week of vacation for yeah. this year. For this year. Okay. Yeah. So he still has that. a carryover. Yeah, he'll oh, have, have some. 20, yeah. 20 hours carryover. 
so it's much more manageable. The policy is that they can carry over what they have, and they but they have to use it within six months. Use it within six months. Okay, because right. then you're going to recruit it. Again. Oh, do you get it all at once, or do you recruit monthly or weekly? It improves. It improves. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but they can carry forward. Is there a limit what they can carry forward? No. Okay. No. All right. But he's he's on board with this. Yes. So I'm asked, asking the board to, for someone to submit a motion that we pay him 40 hours of the uh, of his vacation of his vacation time. Why pay? I'll make that motion that no. we pay we pay him 40 hours of, in lieu of taking his vacation. We pay him the 40 hours due to unexpected man man hours available. Well, second, but it's not just because, but it's kind of reason. It's so. Reason. It makes sense to me too, but so are we setting ourselves up for other officers that are that are going to be angry that they want this or they're not getting it or they haven't gotten it? Well, well everyone else or? has used the majority. One one officer has maxed out his vacation. Right. That's why he's not getting paid. Right. Right. Uh, uh, Lieutenant is almost uh, used up all of his vacation okay. time. He's getting and whatnot, but. No, I don't think, and we can certainly say that these are extenuating circumstances. Yeah. I'm not saying we're president here, but right no. now, because of the oh, we are. anticipated <laughs> short, manpower shortage, these certainly are extenuating circumstances. Yes. But my motion Sorry. was to say that we have a man hour shortage is making it necessary, so it, it's not setting a precedent because it's a situation that's out of our control. Yeah, I mean, the precedent is a shortage of right. Well, staff, yeah, but right, I mean, right? I mean, we are like, more if it than came up again. That this is the press. The press well, right yeah, right. that's true. But then we would probably consider it again if yep. down three men or right. women, whatever. Um, yes. Yeah. So I mean, can pay him one way or the other. Sure. I mean, you're going to yeah. pay him when he takes a vacation. Or you're going to pay him when. Well, right. And, you know. And this way here, we're not paying someone overtime in 2019 to cover his shit. Sure. Because he's part time covering those shit. So right. in the long run, we're saving a few. We're saving a few bucks. Yes. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. And you're sure you don't want to go into non public session and talk about personnel? Are you giving me heart palpitations? <laughs> really? <laughs> no pressure or anything, but. Maybe I just want to. Okay. About Christmas miracle. Okay. Good. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Anything else for the chief? I've kept here long enough. I'm sorry. I thought That's I was going to have a much longer I conversation. About with the chief, of course. Did you, uh, uh, you have obviously posted for uh, sergeants. Uh, well, we posted, we, we posted, posted for, for an office. officer. For an officer. Okay. Um, so, and you haven't, you haven't gotten any valid or some any applications that you can use, clearly. So well, that's why you're doing that they don't each. But certainly they don't rise to the, the level of uh, a sergeant's entry level. Okay. So what did you, did you advertise a price? No. Okay, Okay. so you haven't advertised, so that's not the reason. So you're just putting it out there that you're advertising for a police officer. Correct. But you're not getting the candidates that you would like to have working around. Okay, so the reason why I'm asking is because we had a conversation that, was it 3995? 39999. 39 is the starting pay for a police officer. And I would have assumed that Every time you had a cost of living raise, that that would go up, and you saying it doesn't, right? So I'm not understanding your, when, what you're saying. If a salary is thirty nine nine nine, the starting nine, salary is thirty nine nine, right? But if a police officer gets a cost of living raise, <coughs> right, then I would have assumed that that salary would then go up by that cost of living raise because it's an it's an officer. The starting salary. The starting salary, right? But, I mean, you're never going to be where you want to be if you don't continue to increase the salaries like you do everyone else. That's my point. So a 39.9, he's not getting the candidate levels that he what wants to What was the starting get. salary five years ago? The 39.9. Five years ago, it would have been 38 or 37 or something. So, so it does so go up have slightly. But, however, the, the problem with that is, is that uh, the officer that's closest to him is like a Forty and some change. Right. So to start the new guy out at forty Higher. something, they're very close to the officer that started a year ago or two, three years ago before him. Okay. So you need to maintain a little bit. However, the only way to change it is obviously you know, we've gone to the merit system right. for the pay. So right. so at some point, it's, it's a, there is a possibility that a, 
a newer hired officer could actually make more money than someone who's been here longer than that person. The merit compare. system has its pros and cons. Yes. It, you know, because, it, because it, I mean, if you have a good officer and, and their, their merit, is, they get the maximum uh, scale, then that is a good thing. However, if you have an officer who needs improvements and that position isn't getting, then you're getting yourself right back where you were. I mean, I understand why you're doing it, and I commend you for doing it, but you're... Your salaries are not are staying stagnant because of the person that's in it, not the position. Mm -hmm. So we the we, we in there, in my opinion, need to have a sliding scale for starting. You know, it's like thirty nine to forty four or whatever, and let him have that um, authority to recommend something to us within that scale. I mean. Thirty-nine million is not very much yeah. money. I mean, I'm just saying. When some of the things we're doing are good things, but they have a, they have issues with it if someone leaves. That's what my right. point is. The Greenland Police Chief did a very comprehensive wage analysis mm -hmm. survey. Mm -hmm. and I sent 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 that to the chair of the budget committee. I don't know if you share it with you folks. Well, that. I have it. Okay, you so have it. From, mm -hmm. Probably from the budget committee. No, mm -hmm. I don't think. I, I well, that's what that's why I sent I sent to John. Yeah. And I asked him, you know, if he feels net, if it's appropriate, you know, reach out to the rest of the. Yeah. So you can see where we stand. Yeah. Uh, not only uh, localized, but it does it by county and it does it statewide. And in every single category, we are well below the state the state the average. Maybe in 2019, with that information, maybe we can sit down together with the board and say, this is where we are. How do we get up just so that we're equal to. Or, or, or close not to not to the bottom, but maybe in the middle, or yes. I, I don't know. I just think that sometimes when you have an opening and you're hiring somebody, there's a potential that you will hire at a higher rate than the the last one hired because they didn't, they're not coming with the same experience. But you're not going to get that experience if you're not willing to pay for it. That's that's the issue, right? I mean, you just huh? You're preaching to the choir. I'm not saying you stop. No, I'm just <laughs> I agree with that. Well, the choir has been you know, doing this for years, and I'm just sure. saying it's time to stop. <laughs> we did some market increases a few years ago, and that was a start, but it wasn't. Right. Shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't have finished. So. Lieutenant Yaskovich was the last officer that we hired that came to us with experience. So since then, we've had uh, one, two, three that have stayed, and. Um, the two that we hired, that one guy three weeks in the academy took off, and that yeah. one guy was here three weeks and took off. So, if the budget committee wants to recommend an increase into the bottom line of the budget to go towards market increases or adjustments for police salaries, I'm all for it. That's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for probably a suggested right. scale the, of course. looking at it and 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 getting some more information to. Be, to understand where we are, and, and he's got a perfect thing, and I, I will send it to the board as well. Um, but my goal is to let's reevaluate re it again and increase it as we need to to be able to get the quality police officers that we're looking for. That's I'm not. I don't disagree with you, but yeah. we're not going to be able to do that at this point in the process. Right. It should be the budget committee saying we've got this information. Clearly, market adjustments are are are, are called for, and they truly are. Mm -hmm. We should be, we should be increasing, you should be, the select board should be, we should be increasing the bottom line of the budget X amount of dollars, and the select board should be taking that money and putting it towards, as suggested, we take it and put it towards market increases for police dollars. And that's what needs to happen. And the, the reason we're in this merit increase scenario is because there was a very, there is a very vocal member of the budget committee that was very upset that there for police officers that were getting across the board increases because they didn't deserve it. It should be merit based, but that's how it works in the industry that that person works in. Well, I would argue that police officers are public employees and shouldn't be subjected to that, but we are trying that. We tried it last year. Now, this is the second year of this. Well, there could be two hours. One, you have cost of living increase, and then on top, and of, then on top of it, of course, merit based. That That's makes sense. For, then but if we you didn't have just a cost of living, then you can increase your starting salary by that cost, and then you have your merit, which is totally.
and they're just married. So you could get two types of raises based on each employee, based on what their performance is. One wouldn't give maybe all of them, but I mean, right. but they but, at least get that cross the, the cost of living adjustment. I mean, it's or if not, your salaries remain stagnant, and you can't attract the the the. <laughs> Well, we have the survey. Why not? I, I, I don't know if it's appropriate this time to go through this budget process, but certainly. No, for next year, just putting it out yeah. there. We Let, need let's to let's work uh, sit together and uh, <coughs> whether we form a committee or, or mm -hmm. we just cash it out, mm -hmm. um, even maybe within the existing budget at this point, because you know, again, you know, we, we budgeted for an office for the entire year, but I don't anticipate that we anybody obviously coming in January. Mm -hmm. So there, there might be some money there to do something with mm -hmm. prior to 2020. I, mean, I, I just, I just think I've been watching you do this, and you've been watching him do it. Because you were on the budget for a lot longer than me. Mm -hmm. Why, this is not the first time Bob and Peter have had this conversation with people sitting on the side of the table. Yeah. No, but, I the actors that. change, perhaps, but it's still the same. I feel like you just bat your head against the wall every year, saying my offices aren't paid enough. So you're right. I'm not arguing with you. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. I, we, I just we think we should have some flexibility with maybe a sliding scale or something to give him the the option to be able to start. That's I agree. We just have to have the money and be able on the line to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. I don't I'm not opposed to it. Are you opposed to it? Make you a contributor? No. Um so <laughs> so at this point with the I'll we'll call it the surplus of money and the salaries line item, is there flexibility if you had an applicant that had five years of experience. Yes. Okay. So we have some. Yeah. When I, when I met with the budget committee, I asked them to keep. Uh, if somebody was taken out. Right. They, and they, they, they ended up getting put back in. So there is some flexibility there that if we do get okay. someone who's certified that comes with experience, then they can get additional uh, money towards it. We haven't had a single applicant that's already certified. We've had one. But it wasn't someone you felt comfortable with. Right. So, so 39999 is the starting salary for someone with. That's green. green. Has no, no experience. No experience. Okay. No experience. Yeah. That's going to go through an academy training, and that's very valuable. It costs us. Well, it doesn't cost the town anything, does it? Right. We just pay their. We, we just have to pay their salary. Okay. Right. And you have but to pay the, someone to cover the. But ship. the cost of going to the but academy the, is pay someone to cover the ship. Away. Right. Okay. But the fine is the same. Another state. Doesn't have the state fund. They're fine, right? Yes. Any academy? Yeah. yeah. So. The more people speed, the more money goes into the pocket. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Perfect. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm willing to help with that. We appreciate that. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> that's that address. But, um, uh, all right. And there's no disagreement, I don't think, on the side of the table. We want. I just want it on record. We want. Right. I mean, you're competing in a labor market that's very tight. Um, very tight. Mm -hmm. yes. that it's, yeah. it's going to be hard to attract. And we're, you said before, we're competing with Manchester State Police. Mm -hmm. It's not like the old mm -hmm. days. Right. Yeah. We're talking mm -hmm. about maybe the surrounding communities. We're talking about every department in the state now. Mm -hmm. And Maine and Massachusetts, really. I mean, just because they live in New Hampshire doesn't mean they have to be police officers here, right? They could get certified in another state. Right? You don't have to live. Do you have to live in Maine to be an officer in Maine? No. No. No, Scott is working in Maine. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. what I thought. So we're not, we're competing with even more yeah. communities. So does your does the salary survey have benefits as well as part of it? Because that you know I don't know. Not everyone is. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, just curious. The survey just shows the more. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's more, yeah, I think it's more waste. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And includes details and things like that. But I don't recall uh, it having the benefits on that. Like how do we compare with time off to? Dover. I'm, not, I'm just at, I have no idea if you know. We're, we're, we're below average even in those areas. So I mean that vacation is something uh, we could... Uh, insurance, things like that. Yeah, so. Is vacation based on years of service or is it just what you get and everyone gets the same thing? Yes, yeah, it's, it's based on years of service here. Yeah. Okay, and how, how far do you go up for vacation? How many? How many weeks to, is the max of vacation? I think it's five. Think yeah, scaled so. up to five. Yeah. After 20 years. Oh, but Scott, they had 20 years. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I think it's like 16 or something like that. Yeah. Years, yeah, so. It's not going to sneeze up, but yeah. It's no, it's not, but it took them a long time to accrue that. I mean, to get to that level, right? I mean, right. they don't start yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what any job does. Right. Okay. But it can't take the time off to take a vacation. It really doesn't help. Right. 
Yeah, and I really don't think the, the vacation part's the issue. I think it's still just the it's the right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off my soapbox. Uh, I don't know. What you're saying is important. So, so, so that leads me to my I wasn't asked this question, but I guess I will now. So, was there anything else in the budget committee that came up that you want to work or talk no, about? No, actually, uh, um, other than the, the question about the money that was taken up originally, taken out of the right. salary. We resolved that. So oh. That was a, oh. a mistake. Yeah, that so was fixed. That wasn't. Okay. Good. Yeah. No, no pushback on your signs or no. anything like that? No, because no. I'm getting a half grand. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, hopefully. Well, hopefully. Yeah. We, have, we haven't received uh, official notification yet, but. All right. Perfect. Well, Have a great night. I may see you next Monday. Well, if not, happy to meet you. I'll call you. All right. Thank you. All righty. To where we were. Where were we? Police were in the town administration. So we covered the, the warrant. So the budget. Um, I've asked uh, Caroline to keep that on here. And I think we may have it under here as well under under board member activities and updates. It might be more practical to keep it here. Um, updates on um, the budget committee meetings and any, you know, if there are requests and things that come, the budget committee votes to ask for a certain piece of information, you know, report that back so we can talk about that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? that goes without saying, but okay. Well, I just wanted to yeah. standing. That's why it says budget here. That's why I yeah. asked her to put it under there. Was there anything... Um, after, I wasn't there on Wednesday, so I saw you had an email that was about questions about. Yeah, but that wasn't. That marks, wasn't. Um, well, yeah, there's, there's, there was a lot of uh, conversation about the fire department. Okay. I discussed with Mark and he's yeah. going to uh, get in contact with them, but um, yeah. there wasn't anything. Well, you're talking about all departments, or are you talking about? Well, yeah, so I'm with just as an update on, on what happened at the. Uh, at the at the budget committee meeting, if there yep. was any update you wanted to There was to there was conversations on um, on Mark's budget for um, mostly the radio, so it was a very um, long conversation. Right. Um, they didn't understand why we were buying so many when he only has four or five people showing up, right. which isn't the norm. It's it happens, and so. Right. Um, and also they wanted to know um, why on CIP there was a, a forestry truck on there. Did the best I could to t describe to them when they bought uh, a, a, a transporting vehicle, you know, the command vehicle. So I did the best I could do to explain to them the difference between a forestry truck and a command vehicle. Um, one is a fire truck and one is a command vehicle. Right. Where they take people, not it's off road, right? Uh, it's not off road. Right. So um, I met with Mark tonight to go over um, some things, and I I asked if he would consider um, hosting the budget committee and anybody else who would like to come mm -hmm. um, to the fire station um, one night, and so they can see the equipment, they can understand what he's talking about, and they can see whatever they want and ask any questions. Um, and he has agreed to do that. I'm going to set up a date for okay. the, uh, either Tuesday, Thursday night. Huh. And um, I'm confused, what? Why were they even worried about the, a vehicle that's not up for this year? Because it was on there. Well, but so was a, a new fire truck, but we're not buying it. Oh, no, but it was, it's on there for next year. Yeah, okay. well, so next, they, year's next year is next year. I'm just telling you what they, long conversation oh, about it. Okay. And I'm, and, I know, I agree, but I just told you those are the two things we talked about the most. Yeah, I didn't even get to um, so the radios, it was more about how many people um, show up. And when he said it was, you know, sometimes two or three, that's during the day, mm -hmm. it's right. not at night. And it also depends on the call, um, too, about how many radios they need. If they have a structure fire, that is a lifeline to that person, to the command outside. Um, and it can be, especially in the evening, you could have 15 people there, you know, doesn't, not all of them are going to be in the building, but, um, you know, so. It could be multiple calls. It could too. be multiple calls, especially in the winter months when you have trucks right. all over, or in the spring when you have your major storms, right. you know, right. and they're all over the place and they have to be right. able to talk. 
Some are stored in the um, fire trucks, and right. some are there by the um, uh, radio room when they grab the officers grab them and go into the trucks with them. Mm -hmm. And then they have to still have some that are, especially you don't know how um, long your calls are. Um, they have to be having some ready if the other ones have worn that their batteries worn down. They have to be charged. They can grab another one and go. Mm -hmm. If it's you know they've been there sometimes you know 48 hours straight. Um, it's just the nature of the um, business. Right. But um, so he is gonna he's gonna um, be there and okay. he's gonna have some of the guys there that answer questions and we will see what happens. Um, but yeah, those are the two things that they um, have the most questions on. Okay. So, I don't remember who else, what else, what was the other one we had? CIP. I had asked, I had asked it for, uh, what the beginning balance of the CIP was. Oh yeah, I didn't have that. Do you have that? Yeah. No, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll email it, I forgot about it though. Right I'll email it to them. The beginning balance. I guess I'm confused because this says something like, it's Yeah, it should be in the yellow book. If you go by this NCIP 334, 234, 234. So is that the beginning, or does that contain that number, the stuff that was being proposed? What's in the yellow book? Because that would be the beginning balance for this year, right? Better than that. There oh. is. Yeah, that's right. That's on that tonight's. It's in front of me. 255053. $255,053.33 currently. That's the balance today without any additions for that. I will send that out. And so um, we can also send out um, the, uh, the, the full spreadsheet that shows you know, once, X, once it's done. Years out here. It's not done. I have been working on it. I'm, I'm um, sure you have, yes, but I explained to him that this is what's being proposed this year. Right. Once that document is completed, then yep. it will be sent out. But I wasn't going to send out an incomplete right. one. Well, then we also could we were supposed to go the last week, and, and then all of a sudden. Week before we're told we're being moved up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So but I mean, it, so. it's not something that they need. They only need to know what is the current year's proposals. But they will have it as soon as it's a completed document and, and it's, it's, um, it's all since, done. As soon as yeah. Miles finishes his yeah. yeah. work on it. Okay. So is there anything else that we need to know about what happened there? All we should be working on? Is there any, any information that the, no. the committee requested? Not individual members, but no. the committee requested? Oh, okay. no. Don't worry about it. Budget Committee Secretary posting. We've had one person submit a resume of sorts. Yeah. I, I don't know who the person is. They don't live here, right? They, they lived in Rochester. Rochester. Trying to think of Rochester or Summersworth. I mean, my suggestion would be to send off the resume to, to John, and if he looks at it and thinks it's someone that. Uh, like we can work with, and we can. Bring the resume the was pretty for, limited, though. It was yeah. very limited, yeah. but we haven't heard anything from anybody. The volunteers of, um, that we're told to find every budget season haven't been knocking on the door, down the door. So. Oh, I know. Do you want me to send this to him? What's that? Do you want me to send this? Sure. Forward it to him. Yep, that'd be great. All right. Strategy. Whoa. Workshop. I know. I think it's strategy <laughs> workshop. <laughs> I have a typo there. <laughs> Strategy workshop. Okay. So there is a, um, is it through Suffolk University that's just doing it? Uh, yes. I, is this me? Yep. I okay. think so. Yep. So this, um, there is a, oh my goodness. There was um, something that we got in our mail, um, and it's a uh, program on, um, Strategy Performance Management Certificate, and it's through um, Suffolk. Yep. 
And I would like to participate and, and take the course. It's an online course. Mm -hmm. And um, so but the cost is... Yeah, it's $1,100 for a government and nonprofit employee. But for 10 weeks, and it's not like it's a, No, no, it's not a just one a one-day. No, it is a online, it's a certificate, it's not a, it's not a degree um, program, but it's a certificate uh, program for improving the efficiencies and effectiveness of public and non-public organizations. And um, it looked like something that we might get back into, and I thought possibly um, if we had the uh, funds, I would like to take it. Sure. Yeah. I just got the email, but I wasn't, I didn't have the time to take it for myself, so. The online management program is known for its particular uh, Students enroll in a 10-week online training course covering four core topics, huh? Okay, what is the core? It's performance management and government, strategic planning for performance management, measuring and reporting performance, and evidence-based management. For measuring and improving the performance of um, of uh, government uh, service and government and nonprofit service delivery organizations, so clearly there are efficiencies that can be found. Mm -hmm. But unless you uh, know how to find them, you may not be able to look at them. I don't have. If you want to take the course, I don't have. We have money off clearly that we found um, um, elsewhere in the budget. Just in Georgia, Georgia alone. So to offset it. So Miles, yep. I, I think if you're if you're willing to, to do it, I think it would be really useful information for us to build on. Fine by me. I mean, my goal is um, the the um, point here in the imaginary number on the page here. The 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 amount that um, was found just in Georgia's lines mm -hmm. of unused money. That's just one department. Mm -hmm. There will be in, in police, fire, mm -hmm. uh, also other money. And my, my, this one board member's opinion is that the bulk of that, the vast, overwhelming majority of that, should go back to fund balance for offsetting taxes next year. Mm -hmm. So I don't think $1,100 is going to be an issue. So I'm all for it. So if that's the complete cost. There's yeah, it's eleven $1 hundred dollars uh, per student, government, for government and nonprofit employees. It's a twelve fifty for other students. Okay, so that's and it's a ten week course. Registration online. and course fees. Yeah. Okay. Can we do a motion? So Someone needs to make sure. Uh, I'll, I'll move to allow member Knowles to take the class at Suffolk University for eleven $1 hundred dollars. I'll second. For, for a strategic performance management certificate. Mm -hmm. So it's clear as what we're sending at the school for. Do you want this? <laughs> yeah, I do. Can give that to me. All right. So if we move to second it, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? Should I? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I already voted, but yeah, I can all abstain. I'll okay. Allow. And one abstention. Okay. One abstention. Motion to pass. All right. So. Thank you. This is on. That takes care of three items. There's only one. <laughs> on three lines, that makes me happier. Acceptance of Wentworth Road and Pleasant Street. Okay. We have been notified by the developer, uh, the Chinbergs, that um, they are ready to turn Wentworth and a portion of Pleasant Street over to the town that they have improved. Um, it has been, it has not been past practice. Let me back up. It's my recommendation that unlike in the past, when a select board member or the road agent would just go over and take a look at the road and say, yeah, it looks good to me, yeah. um, that we send our town engineer over. It's borne, the cost is not borne by the town, it's borne by the, um, uh, the, the, the applicant. Thank you. So I would suggest we, we have our town engineer, Mr. Stevens, Absolutely. go over and take a look at it, uh, take a look at them, rather, and report back to us as to whether or not it's in um, acceptable condition to be turned back over to the town, and or to be to put on the warrant to be voted on a town meeting. Okay, and who is this, Mr. Stevens? It's Jay Stevens with Civil Consultants. Oh, right? okay, so there are record of... Civil Work, Civil Consultants. Civil Consultants. In South Broward? South yeah. Broward, yes. So yeah. there so are record... 
uh, they are the person on record that these are. Uh, yes. Okay. This is what we use. The planning board uses, and, and we have been sending over um, to review other um, uh, project peer review. Okay. review and doing peer review. Well, well they certainly uh, have more experience than the rest of us. They did. I mean, the road is hard. I would say yes, it looks fine, and I mean, I would know nothing. So I, I would agree that we should send someone who knows what they're doing. Yep. All right. So. I need a motion to have uh, the town ask our our consulting engineer, Mr. Stevens, go over and take a look at um, Wentworth Road and Pleasant Street to see if it's uh, ready for acceptance by the town meeting. I'll make that motion that he just said. Uh, okay. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Thank you. We'll send Mr. Stevens over. We've already talked about the police station town hall warrant article. You're going to have your committee make a recommendation to us ASAP, right? Yep. Awesome. Perfect. Um, I mean, I, I am concerned that we're running out of time okay. and that we don't have a plan that for this building. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we don't have, okay, so you and Bob and the rest of the committee have um, two scenarios from Chin, um, yeah. not Chinberg, um, Bruin, think Bruin, Bruin, yeah. Rowan, right? Yeah. Um, one with and one without the town mm -hmm. hall facility, mm -hmm. which I think is wonderful because mm -hmm. it's a good option. Um, there are, there will be pushback, of course, and there will be folks angry that we don't have an option that incorporates the asset we already have, which is the town hall. So I don't think you have time to to create a plan and do all the research for mm -hmm. that. But I mean, that is something we need to consider. We may very well hear that at a public hearing as we mm -hmm. move forward. So mm -hmm. I think we should be aware of that. Mm -hmm. There was at one time um, um, a plan that was overblown, I think. The, the company that we hired was probably not the greatest company, but that incorporated this building and taking, I think, that red building behind mm -hmm. us, buying it, uh, and, and building uh, a police station off the back. Mm -hmm. not, so they're not subterranean anymore. Um, we could dust that off, and that could be an option. I mean, if people want options, I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's fully vetted. So that's, but I mean, so there are, there is some of that stuff has been done in the past. So. And I think uh, there was one of the thoughts that I had had I mean, is about buying that building next door. And I'm not endorsing way. it. I'm just saying that no, was one saying, of the. No, I'm just saying, but it's another option. Right. You know? So if people get hung up on, and I don't remember what the dollar amount was, mm -hmm. and, and I, I seem to recall that it was very high, mm -hmm. but I don't know if that's because of the type of firm that we had mm -hmm. contracted mm -hmm. with originally. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't remember. So, But again, it's something we have that also with. So I, I, I'm sort of out of the loop on the background. What, 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 is the, what is the issue we're trying to solve with a new building? And maybe that's a conversation that's longer than... Well, the, the um. original part of it was that the police were in water situation mm -hmm. more, more times than not yeah. every time it rained. However, I do think that with all these heavy rains we've had recently, I don't think they've had any water. Because we mitigated that with drainage. We did something out in the front parking lot, right? And so... Um, the roof. Oh, and the roof. The okay. roof was put on. We, we, there, was, there were several issues. There okay. was the back roof here in the back had holes in it, and Bob had been down and so forth for 10 years, I think. Okay. Was. But there were holes in the back roof that never got resolved. We okay. resolved that. There was the cupola. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't. Um, yeah. It wasn't closed off at the top. Mm -hmm. So when it rained, and it was a smaller opening, so it was not like a lot of rain. Not mm -hmm. enough got in, so it poured straight down. So that's why we were getting rain in the elevator shaft that never was. Okay. Um, and then there was the drainage issues from around the building, um, and we helped mitigate some of that. So right. there have been things that have been done. Yes. Yeah. Now, that doesn't solve the problem that there are spatial needs. Right. Um, is the basement above really the best place for a police department? Probably not. There's also a mold issue mm -hmm. that we have mitigated as well. So, no, I mean, there's definitely been improvements, for sure. But, the, I mean, I've been here a couple of nights where the water was pouring yeah. in those windows over mm -hmm. by the, the yeah. front door. Yeah. You know, because it's all... And 
to really do this building correctly and say, okay, let's stay in town hall, I think that you're going to have, you're going to spend at least what it's costing for the police station and town administration to do it correctly. To do it correctly, I do. Probably. It's a lot of work. Here. I mean, I mean this stuff money. needs to just be. Uh, there's just a lot of work here. I mean, to do mm -hmm. it correctly, it was it was shortchanged during the whole process of getting it done. And because before only, that, there was a lot of deferred maintenance. Yeah. And yep. So the board at the time, I think, did the best they could with what they were. Yeah, yeah, uh, yep. but they, I think they tried. It was, you know, it was just definitely things that. Um, that took a, were cut. Co definitely. But so, because of funding, I mean, so yeah. the, the, yeah. the the we could go on about this all night, but we mm -hmm. won't. The, at, the 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 path that that Gruen, the, the firm that mm -hmm. um, seems to have the winning strategy right now, employs, and a lot of other firms employ now, is this design build. You don't design it, get it passed, and then send it off to um, to a construction firm. They're they're under one umbrella now, yep. and you get this is the price it costs to do all of the soup to nuts instead of the old way where didn't really know when you were you said oh you've had eight hundred and fifty thousand and oh really it's going to cost a million five you got to mm -hmm. figure out where you're going to cut and you don't put insulation in the walls and mm -hmm. things like that so had we employed and that this is not a new theory design build is not right. a new theory it's been around for quite a few decades actually um, it just wasn't employed then so I mean yeah. not going to second guess what was done then but it probably wasn't way and it was the way it was done and it is so that's how we did it. Right? And at the public hearing that we had um, to present the two projects and stuff, the, what we heard from, as a committee was that they wanted to have it on a bigger uh, piece of land mm -hmm. to be able to have eventually, maybe not right away, but all three comps sure. fire, police, and, and administration. Yep. You won't be so able to do it there. Yep. That won't be able to fit there. Um, but, and um, the negotiations um, didn't result in that for the other piece of land that we were looking at. Right. So, you know, I mean, there's definitely going to have to be a sell because it isn't 100% what the people were looking for. And well, and then you really need to know what you're going to do with here. A lot of the folks that said that we need to find at least a five acre, mm -hmm. I mean, I went to, the, I attended this yeah. meeting as well, I sat in the back and listened. I don't, I don't know that any of them stepped forward to help you find mm -hmm. any five acre, magical five-acre unicorns at that. No, they didn't. So, uh, sorry, turn out to be flipped. No one stepped forward to help you find the parcels of land that they claim are out there. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, there's that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you know, I think uh, Chief Duchamp's um, opinion is that it's really just very tight down there, and there's not a lot of room for the amount of stuff that he has, you know. And downstairs. Downstairs, yeah. So that's, and, and with their previous issues, just was looking to have bigger, bigger accommodation. Right now, and so people will say, well, currently we're, we're grandfathered, right? Because we're in mm -hmm. a space that was uh, designed and built as a police station prior to certain requirements right. being in place. Clearly, the building is a lot older than those requirements. Yep. But um, so, if we were to build something new, there are requirements for um, separate, say, um, locker rooms for, yep. for men and women. Surprise, surprise! I mean, it should be anything. Um, you know, and obviously different restrooms and mm -hmm. things like that. That uh, holding cells too. There were there are like juvenile cells versus mm -hmm. adult cells. I mean, things that didn't exist when when the space downstairs was, was repurposed, mm -hmm. right? So. That's another reason why it would cost a lot more to build. There are there are things that some folks may see as extravagant, but I, they're required. They're not, I don't think they're extravagant. I mean, they're, so I mean, I know people have already started talking about you know Bob Duchamp and his you know Crystal Palace or whatever, but I don't think that's fair either because I mean Bob is not you know creating you know uh, the designs that you know, he's required to have I mean, under certification laws. So. Anyways, but anyways, so we could sit here and debate amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. I guess, but okay. until we have an actual. So we will. First, we should say thank you for the work you put in. We should do that at least. We yeah. should have said thank you to Bob. Yeah. We will next week, but I mean, I know it's not easy. So. So we will 
we'll get something written up and send a proposal forward. Awesome. All right. So the next thing we have on the agenda is the town administrator job description. You will see, as Caroline points out, a four-page document that I do not want to act on tonight, but I want you to look at and have an opportunity to read. I would also email to you. I would like to work on it next Monday night. Okay? Because I would like to have something um, ready for the first uh, of uh, the new year to work on, uh, to, to be um, talking about. You know, I have an actual job description for folks to understand. These are the, um, the types of things that the person will be required to work on. So there's four, 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 almost four, four mm -hmm. three and three quarter pages of, um, of functions, essential functions. So we're all on record. We need to be prepared to talk about it for next um, for next Monday. Okay? Can we all agree for that? Yep. Myself included. <laughs> to, to, to be ready to talk about it. I don't know what it says, but anyway. Um, yeah. I guess we can we can talk about it when we get to board member activities. Okay. Um, Oak Street MOU is in one of these folders for us to sign. I hope. until either party gives notice and writing to the other party terminating the contract with a date of at least 30 days from receipt of notice. Um, and it talks mostly, and it does talk all about um, um, maintenance. Mostly winter, but there are some summer as well. So we've had it for several months. George has made his recommendations. Bob and um, Mark were comfortable with the status quo. Are we ready to sign? Yep. So we have our... Alright. I think that's been on the agenda the entire time. Of... <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> get this taken care of tonight. That'd be wonderful. I'll send it off to our counterparts in Dover. And they can either endorse or reject or amend or whatever. I'm assuming they just don't endorse, but... Cross that one off finally. Yay, thank you. Next we have the Lavin inventory penalty. Um, we have already taken care of this, but we never did the new form. It was in that transition week and we missed it. So we had already voted on, um, on the Lavin's um, penalty abatement um, and we already talked about it. So, we already voted on it, so we'll sign it. <coughs> so this is not an additional one, this is one we've already, we've already taken care of, so we will officially resolve it now. And we apologize to them, it was in that, like I said, in that transition week, so we didn't, uh, we had the new form, but we just, we didn't have it, and it's, it's taken care of. So. All right. Uh, Policy review. I'd like to table this for next week as well. Uh, if that's okay with everyone, the tobacco free policy. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just not ready to talk about it tonight. And I don't want to have to talk about it. Um, I would help sick most of the time. Sweet best. Okay. So, the neurovirus made its way through the rollout residence. So, it was a lovely week. Um, all right, uh, town administration, board member activities. Miles, you seem like you're itching to talk about <laughs> something that happened. Um, so. not, not really. Um, a town resident uh, passed away. I don't oh. know if you know, Clayton Randall died. Oh, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Last week, and his memorial service is next Monday night. Oh. Um, 
which I don't know what time it is, um, but I would like to attend okay. in some. Sure, of course. Uh, so either before or. Right, 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 right. Um, so that that's all. Um, if we all can't make it, please uh, extend our. Uh, yes. Um, our sympathies to the family. So also last week, last Tuesday, we had our planning board meeting. The um, amendment to the plan on Oldenburg Marine got oh, yeah. approved. Yeah. Um, to five houses, five houses, um, and then we also discussed um, the zoning changes, which we already looked at. And that was it. So it planning. was accessory dwelling units. So we're finally going to be. Yep, we'll be compliant. Think with this the, time we finally will be compliant. Yes. We hope. Um, okay. Yep. Um, That's good to know. Caroline has the correct language. Good. Um, the select board or designate will replace board of selectmen. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. And then the 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 C one district special special provision. Yeah, so that they actually match up to what we thought we were doing. The, yes. What three years ago now? Two years uh, ago. At like least that? two. Yeah. Three years ago. Yeah, yeah. That's good. All yep. right. Good work. That's um, so. And and Denise, if you if you can let me know when the 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 fire department uh, walkthrough is. I would yep. love to attend. I didn't mean to get over there. Yep. Yeah, we're going to try to do it on Tuesday or Thursday okay. next week if that works. Next week. So, yep. Okay. But I will let you. I will copy you as well as. Well. Tuesday doesn't work for me, but if it okay. if it doesn't work, it's fine. But All right. I will. Uh, company. Yep. Okay. Um, me. Okay. I had a budget time. committee last week, and I have budget committee this week. Uh, we're doing the school budget this week, and I think that's all I have this week. So, um, you're going to give us a report anyways, but if they have any really, if they have any, um, which I'm sure they probably will, any um, capital. Thank you. I have a, huh? a huge project proposed. Uh, yet to uh, see it, so. Yep. If you wouldn't mind getting us a copy so we could. Yep. I thought they had said they would forward all those things to us so we could work in concert when we worked on our CIP, but uh, confident that that happened this year. So. Well, I'll get it confirmed on Wednesday night, but it, last I heard... It's not your fault. No, no, I, 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 I know, but so. the last I heard, the last meeting I went to, that there is a big project proposed. Okay. Yay. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, but it, it shouldn't have been. It should oh. have been under, um, because I wanted to have it as an update. Oh, I, I want to know you. what happened. Yep. That's why I asked her to put it under um, for town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, it should have said budget committee update, but it, okay. it, it didn't get updated clearly. So okay. That's fine. That's I'll make sure you guys confusing. stay in the loop. I can I also you make would, sure but. you guys can get the copies of minutes too. Did I? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Be helpful. Yeah. All right. Um, Um, I thought we did this one last week, but I don't know. It might be. Um, it's a, it's a. It's not stamped. It's not stamped. Um, sewage disposal system at 160 General Sullivan Way. Look on the back. Look at we we stamped the uh, print, right? Um, it's a different one. Is it? I thought it was this I one. I thought it was that one too. T Tom said he reviewed it today, or I don't know, oh, on the day that's the tenth. So we need to see the town stamp to go in there. Oh. I, I swear. So, I'm going to sign it. All right, then I'll stamp. So we have it officially. Okay. And then uh, when you go in to sign in a meeting, uh, you can just stamp it. Yep. And don't forget to sign the data. You know that On the stamp, that, right? What I've just on done the, up here, yeah. which okay. I know is crazy. But All right, I'll take it with me and stamp it. And then we can put it back in the red folder. Okay. okay. Is that it for the red folder? That's it for the red folder. Oh, I'll just take it and then we'll, so we don't lose it. That's I guess not. Okay. Just a little thing. So leave it on top, so I'll, I'll carry it in, so I don't, I'll just stick it real quick. And okay, so what do we have for correspondence? All right, so we have a book here for oh, yeah. the uh, when you stay with the policy positions. And we have state aid to 
Okay. 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 Um, we are using contents for our temporary position. Yes. And how much is just an uh, FYI yep. um, uh, on that. Um, and then an FYI, Seacoast Shipyard Association. They usually tell you how many employees you have. Yeah, and, and what the salary is. The um, payroll is yeah. into the town. Yeah. It's sizable, actually, in the wrong ones. It is. The like, last I knew, they had 90 employees. I don't know if that's still current. Uh, they're looking, so they're, they're asking for their 19 budget allocation okay. from the town of Rollins in the amount of $100. Yeah. Did we, we did that, did we? We did. Yeah, okay, very good, so we're all set. Sorry, you really I should be able to employ 71 employees with an annual payroll of uh, 5,814,170. Yep. Wow. A lot of money into this little town. Yep. And yep. form of payroll. So this is just an FYI as well, then. We Important have to, to keep the that. shipyard. Move on along. Summers with New Hampshire, notice of the meeting. Find a notice of the meeting, summons of the land use board, public hearing. Relative to property that abuts yours, as an abutter, you are entitled to attend the meeting to provide any comments or questions that may have regarding the application. The meeting is held at City Hall in cha uh, Council Chambers. If you're unable to attend the meeting, please feel free to submit a letter with your comments to the Planning Department. And I must tell you where you abut. Um, um, Oh, Linda Hodgson and David Blaisdell are seeking a lot line adjustment located on Stackpole. Is that no? Oh, no. I got an arrow. Hold on. Oh, someone is relocating a, build, a building, garage, and associated infrastructure on Tri City Road in the business district. So this is, this is ours. John Flatley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is this? Well, John Flatley owns um, the, um, um, uh, the the plaza. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's way about it in the back. Yeah. So, so. Flatley, John Flatley is a, is a huge developer from Massachusetts. That owns all those. Oh, okay. The whole well, then with market basket. Strip malls and things. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Other anyway, areas. it's a notice of a public hearing if you would like to. And what is it? It's a lot line adjustment. Uh, or is it moving a building? He's in? relocating a building. Number three, the garage and associated infrastructure on that property. Okay. It's all conservation back there. So. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Sure. All right. And. I don't have a reason for it to object to it, but we can forward it on to the, uh, the chair of the planning board. Why don't we have that? Or the chair. The chair of the planning board. From oh, there, isn't that her? That's Carol. Oh. <laughs> Board to chair. It's full of, uh, of planning board. Here. She'll probably have a chuckle tomorrow morning. I thought. Okay. Uh, request for disbursement. Um, requester is Caroline Kendall. The amount requested is $41,999 to the Highway Department Service Truck from the CIP Reserve Fund to General Fund. Okay. Okay, so let's vote on it. I screwed that up last week. We should have had a vote on the other ones. So the request for disbursement is to move um, forty-one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars from the highway department or the highway service highway department service truck mm -hmm. from the CIP reserve fund to the general fund. It was as authorized by the town meeting. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Town meeting's already authorized it, but you're authorizing me to sign it. I have another one. Um, the amount request disbursement forty four thousand seven hundred and six for the police cruiser from the CIP fund to the general fund. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? How much was it? Forty four thousand seven hundred and six dollars. And the last one is um, to 
disbursement of ten thousand one fifty four eighty two. Okay. No, I don't have a ten thousand one fifty four eighty two. Okay. Okay. For the roadside mowing attachment from CIP to the general fund. All those in favor will say aye. 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 Washington Street. When they look at Pleasant and um, Wentworth Street, yep. will they be looking at the criteria that was laid out when it went through the planning board? Yes. There is often cars parked on Pleasant Street on the weekends, uh -huh. which creates a fire hazard for a fire truck getting through. But that, because um, it, they park right down to the T where the fire truck is. They'd be looking at the physical, the, yeah. the physical requirements, not not like fire safety. People park where they park. Yeah. Is there a no parking sign? Or? I don't know. I know there is on West Street. I don't know if there is on Pleasant Street or not. I don't think there's established on. Oh, I'd have to look at. I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't on the planning board. Now. I don't know what it says, but if not, we can revisit that after the road is officially adopted. Yeah. Well, part of the road already is. It's the end piece that. Yeah, but, but they look at all the the physical requirements. Yeah, and make sure the road was actually built to specs. So that was why. Oh, there was supposed oh. To be drains in certain places that they're actually there, and that's what. That My other question is for those people who are interested in putting petition warrant articles onto the warrant. Yep. Is there a timeline available somewhere? Yes. And where would we find that timeline? It's in the calendar. It's on the town oh, calendar. Thank you. If you go on um, the town website and look at the town calendar, it's on there. It is in January sometime. January 25th, maybe, so yeah. Okay, just that it is. I wonder, I don't think my... It's, on, it's in the newsletter. Yeah, it's also in the newsletter, too. I don't believe that my... Yeah, my personal calendar doesn't drive up with the town calendar. I'll figure that out, so it will. But I think it is the 25th. But if you go on the town website, it's on. or you can look at your little sheet that came with your tax bill. It's also there. Okay. Any other? All right, we're gonna go home. Have a nice night. It is 8:27. Not bad for a bus. Have a nice night. We're just on the train. Where are you going? Beautiful world. Oh. An island for two days. <laughs> oh. Yes. I'm going to drive in my hand.